here we go. Mario and Luigi. The depth of the background, the amount of stuff you see in the background looks really good. So we are, in fact, in Flower Kingdom. So this is fully confirmed. Florian, nice. I mean, Emperor of the Koopas. Okay, Wonder Flowers are definitely going to be the primary focus. Whoa, that looks neat. So, Prince Bowser's Castle? Whoa, look at those piranha plants. They are vicious. And they are hungry for something. So, the flower houses are likely going to be manipulated by the energy from Bowser and the castle. Oh, no, they're like little jail cells. Flower jail. Flower jail. Confirmed. Do we really need to stop Bowser? Oh, Yoshi's and Nabbit? We get Nabbit back? Uh, the Yoshis are adorable. Okay. Footage that we've seen before. But we can clearly see the smaller ones are just like 0 0.1 pieces. Flower Kingdom looks pretty interesting. Pretty expensive too. Petal Isles? Okay. Pipe Rock Plateau. Nice. Those are some interesting Goombas. Oh. What was the enemy that threw the rock? Or uh, the ice? Fluff Puff Peaks? Oh, the fish look pretty. Okay. Okay. Okay, White Sand Desert's a little bit new. Similar concept to what they normally do. But the water concept is nice, and new fire... fire enemies? Seems like there are difficulty thresholds. Here comes the hippos. <laughs> So, I like the idea that you have some options. Oh, that's good for individual double speed running. Yeah, why are the flowers talking? Why? I guess that extra death. Yeah, you can probably get over there. Okay, so they're going to be related to secondary achievements. So, it looks like you get all of the toads. It's nice to see yeah, Blue Toad and Toadette. So, everyone plays mechanically the same. So that's good. Man. I wanted them to be challenging. Ah, uh, Rip Nabbit. You were just Yoshi'd. Man. I wanted to do hard mode Yoshi run. Oh, those are kind of cool. Hoppy Cats? Those are, that's a cute name. Good job, Nintendo. Oh, that's smart. That's a smart concept upgrade. Condarts? Oh, I like the name. Oh, that's cool. 
Mumsies? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Mamas. Ah, the, the cute design. A lot of these designs are really nice. That's good that familiar foes are back. Oh. Elephant, bubble, drill? Really trunk in it. Oh, uh, so elephant mode is basically Rambi from DK. Oh, that's cool. You get some traversability options with Elephant. Oh, that just is funny. Peach of it! <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can use them for platforms. Okay, so that's good for uh, the things that are immune to other damage. So, uh, Kaiser levels with bubbles. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. It does give you other options. Oh, cool. That's uh, essentially a galaxy ability retooled, right? I guess that could allow you to be able to do some more interesting platforming challenges. I feel like there has to be maybe one more power up. The elephant apple looks cool. Yep. It's good that you can hold on to power-ups, though. Here I thought the elephant wasn't going to be able to jump at all. Ooh. Seems like the color matches the zone or the world they're in. Seems like Bowser got it, obviously. Yeah. So I wonder if this means any enemy stampede. A little bit of Indiana Jones-ish... Bubbles might bubble the hub. Oh, okay. This adds so much more for exploration. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Goombario. Okay, that's... That explains that. So, it looks like they're all stuck to their level. So, it looks like Wonder Seed, this runs will not be viable? Oh, okay. Popman, like a poppy! Oh, that's cool. Badges? Wait. Oh, okay. Dolphin kick? Floaty high jump. Oh, okay, I think that's pretty important. Oh, 
Okay, Dolphin Kick Badge will be essential. Okay. These all seem really viable. The sensor one and the coin magnet might not be as viable for speed running. I think people will love the jet run badge. Oh, okay. Seems like it adds a lot of different options. Yep. I was going to say, I guarantee there's challenge courses. So that explains why there's so many flower coins. Okay, this is the important part. Uh, local. Okay. Oh, they become a ghost. That's cool. Isn't that kind of like what happens in... Uh, wait. Isn't that... Oh, okay. <laughs> Yoshi on Yoshi. That's Goshi. Oh, okay. Rip Yoshi's back and legs. Yeah. Now, you tell us that there's online co-op. Please tell me there's online co-op. Please. Please tell me. So that just kind of makes it a little bit easier. Oh. Oh. Well, that's cool, that stand user thing. Yeah. Oh, it looks like there's a lot. It looks like that there's at least 12 per player, or per character, I mean. You might know what I'm gonna be be putting a lot of standees up, guys. Believe in the heart of the points, guys. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, okay. That's hype. That's really exciting. Ah. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I want to race people. Okay. I am so looking forward to this. Um, B. June, Spouser Junior. Okay. I wonder what other challenges they might have. Because they might have other little mini challenges. The badges definitely adds a lot more depth. But the new power-ups add a lot of traverse... A lot of different options to traverse the levels with. On top of other stuff that may be hidden. Since we're seeing 12 per character, or at least it looked like it was 12 of the standees per character. And now they're gonna announce a special edition switch. Yep. 
solve it. That was, maybe this is a little bit Mario Lazy Edition. But yeah, that's, that's it for the direct, guys. I wanted to stream it.